Hey you guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bassin and welcome back to our Spring Buyer's Guide series. This is video number two. Today we're talking about soft plastics. <music> everything soft plastics. We're talking BFS all the way up to swim baits and we had one heck of a time trying to <laughs> narrow down this category because it is huge. I mean just imagine walking in, you know, think about the last time you went to a tackle shop and just all the the worms and soft plastics on the wall. There's so many baits, but we narrowed it down to uh, specific categories and then we picked two or three baits in that category that we have a ton of confidence in, that we have a ton of fish catches on. Uh, and just like every video down below in the video description, we'll link the category, the baits, and the, our favorite colors. Uh, you don't have to take notes or anything like that. But um, it's a giant category, and we did our best to try and simplify it a little bit and narrow it down for you. So where do you want to start? Oh, I guess I'll start right here. And I, I wouldn't say a little bit. We did an amazing job of cutting this thing down. There's a bunch of categories here, but for every category, we do an in-depth video. There'll be 15 baits in it. Today there's gonna to be one or two or three and they're all there with a purpose. These are the actual baits that we fill our boat with in the springtime that we trust day in and day out to produce. Springtime is key, I missed that. Yes, this, these are baits that we use in the springtime. So you'll notice there are some categories maybe missing that we'll use in summer or fall, but springtime, this is where it's at. First one here is gonna be a tube just because that's the one sitting in front of me. <laughs> um, I use a tube in the spring the most when we go north but a lot of people throw them everywhere, right? For me, I throw a tube even more down here in the winter time, but in spring, I'm thinking up north. Two tubes that we really like, that we have a lot of faith in. One is going to be the net bait. The other is the big bite tour tube. Uh, both of these are excellent baits. Both are double dip style tubes, fat tubes, okay? They're dipped twice, so they end up much thicker than a thin tournament style tube. And, and in the last few years, we've both grown to have a ton of confidence in those double dip style tubes. So there's the big bite. And then again, going back to the net bait, the STH. <laughs> it is cold. It's, it's cold it's this morning, man. Yet. This is the two and a half. There's also a four. We throw both but the two and a half has a very special place with me up north. If you've watched any of our tube videos in recent years, you know we pair this to a very specific head. In fact, if there's room in the video description, I'll even include the head because it's so specific for that tube. But just a bait that flat catches them. Huh, it's confusing to even I'll just choose grab a one and go. right now. All right, let's talk, let's talk drop shot. We'll get that out of the way. So I grabbed three different drop shot baits. Basically, a couple different categories. We have kind of our, our shaddy bait fishy profiles, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have maybe our, our six inch straight tail worm. So if you're a guy that likes a Texas rig, throw a drop shot Texas rig, uh, we got that covered. So first off, Big Bite Baits Smallie Smasher. You guys know that we have smashed a lot of smallies on the Smallie Smasher uh, the last several years. It's a fairly inexpensive bait in the category. Uh, has the new sensation. A lot of companies now are adding that uh, uh, scent to their baits. But uh, that Smallie Smasher is a winner. That's a bait that we've, like I said, we've caught a ton of fish on and we have a ton of confidence. Now with that said, uh, Matt, hopefully you guys saw our underwater video or our gear review that Matt did recently yep. where he did some underwater footage of this guy right here, the Missile Baits Bomb Shot. It has kind of that same profile as the, the, uh, the Big Bite, kind of that ribbed body with that paddle tail, has a lot of subtle movement in the water. So mm -hmm. early spring, late winter, whatever you want to call it right now, the water is <laughs> Definitely cold. Definitely late winter today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the fish aren't as active as they will be later on in the year, but you get that real subtle movement. That is a standout in our underwater footage. And then for you guys that like to uh, fish shallow this time of the year uh, with a Texas rig drop shot. I love it, this technique, this time of the year. You know, as the fish are up shallow, you know, with those guys, you're using an exposed uh, hook. 
This guy, I actually have one rigged for you, a drop shot on a straight shanked hook, but you can flip this up, pitch it around cover. As those fish are up shallow, they're up next to the stumps, they're up, up next to the laydowns, you can fish a six inch worm uh, weedless on a drop shot and uh, the robo worm, you guys know we've talked about the robo worm for years. Mm -hmm. um, it's just one of those worms that we have to have in our arsenal. So many different great colors, Margarita Mutilator 3, uh, Morning Dawn, we'll, we'll link some of our favorite colors, but that guy is a winner for the straight tail drop shot presentation. I'm gonna lump this one in with these. Okay. So those two are both finesse categories. Now let's talk about a power category. Uh, Craws and creatures. I just lumped them in together. Let me loosen this up a little bit. <laughs> My favorite craw bait, hands down, the net bait four inch Paca Slim. I use the three and a half as well for some of my flipping applications if I'm downsizing, but the four is my staple. If I could only have one, it's the four inch. This Paca Slim is a killer bait. I use it flipping, so Texas rigged. Sometimes I fish it on a wobble head. I use it as a jig trailer. I also use it on the back of a chatter bait. That one bait has a ton of applications for me. Those two appendages, those two arms, have a lot of kick to them if you reel it through the water. So it's a great profile laying on the bottom. It's a great action if you're swimming it. So again, a lot of baits here, but craw category, one. Creatures. We talked about this guy yesterday. The Zoom Baby Brush Hog hard to take that out of any video, right? It's just a staple bait we've thrown since we were kids. Right. It continues to catch fish. Uh, and then another one, kind of, I would say the brush hog originally owned the creature category, right? But it is blown up. There's dozens and dozens and dozens of creatures now. And this guy, the baby destroyer, well, that's not the that's baby, a that's a full-size destroyer. A destroyer yeah. The destroyer and the baby destroyer both are an amazing creature bait. Long curly tails on this bait. So it's a very effective bait uh, to Texas rig. I like to throw them unpegged. You could also free rig this bait because the slower the fall with it, those tails are just back there churning in the water and it's a very, very effective bait. Uh, the only thing I don't do with them when they've got big tails like that is punch. I like to punch with a smaller profile because those big long tails or, or arms will catch on everything on their way through. But for open water, for throwing that thing up around docks, laid down trees, edges of grass, they're unreal how well they work. Yeah, and, th and they're two creature baits, but they're a lot different. You know, that baby brush hog is smooth. The entire body is smooth, yes. whereas the missile, it's all ribs. So a lot more movement in that guy, uh, a lot more uh, body to, to to beef up that hook and hide that hook in. Mm -hmm. um, next up category, let's talk shaky heads. So I grabbed two for shaky heads. You guys know how much we love this guy right here, the T-Mac. Um, the last few years, we've caught a hundred, hundreds of fish on- 99% yeah, <laughs> of our shaky <laughs> head fish have been on this that. This guy right here, uh, it's just a, an awesome bait. I mean, you can Nico rig it if you want, but I grabbed it for the shaky head uh, presentation. That is hands down our favorite shaky head worm. Can I jump in for just a second? I hate to interrupt Go you for all. It. This worm, we came by this honestly. We were shooting some underwater footage and we were comparing like a dozen different worms underwater. This is for the guys that, that haven't been with us for seven or eight years, okay? Because sometimes we latch onto a bait and, and you're like, how can you love one bait right. that much, right. right? What's the deal? We shot this underwater footage. We threw this in there along with a bunch of similar looking baits, right? Trick worms, different different straight tail worms. We got home, we were cutting that video at your house and I don't even remember which one of us saw it, but one of us was like, get over here and look at this. This bait stood out from the crowd. I mean, some baits in your hand, you're like- They all look the same. Yep, right. that looks like every other straight tail worm yep. I've ever seen. You see this thing underwater and the way it was moving and we're like, that's the bait from now on. And that's how that happened. And that's why we're, 
video after video after video, you're like, that one, throw that one. Just trust me. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing the difference. And so the other bait, again, when I when we were putting this together, when I was grabbing some worms, I was thinking, you know, what can overlap, right? Yes, you can throw a six inch robo worm on a shaky head. Yeah, you can you can mix and match a little bit. But this guy right here, this is the new, um, <clears throat> this is the six inch magic worm by Missile. What's cool about this bait is they're being poured by Robo. So you get the Robo color, some really cool Robo-esque colors in this bait right here. But it can be fished just like the, the T-Mac. It can be fished wacky. It can be fished um, on a drop shot, Texas rig drop shot, but it can also be fished on the shaky head. So I threw that in this category because it has great colors. So if you're a guy that likes some of the Robo colors, uh, you can check this guy out for your drop shot and your shaky head. But these two guys, if you're looking for a good shaky head worm, we narrowed it down to these two. Yep. All right, I will talk uh, stick baits. It's a really complicated category. <laughs> it's called a Senko. Seriously, if you're, if you're throwing a stick bait in the spring, if you're on a budget and you're trying to save some money, then there are some alternatives. But if you're a guy who's like, I want the best stick bait I can get my hands on because I want to catch some bass, it's a Senko. The Yamamoto Senko is the bait. It was the original bait, it is still the bait. It has this incredible fall, fish eat it. Uh, I can tell you, personally, when I lived in the West, you could not get me to set down a six inch green pumpkin black flake Senko all spring. Now that I live in the East, delete six inch, add five inch. Nothing else changed. <laughs> Seriously, they smash a five inch Senko. It's unreal. But they come in a bunch of amazing colors. Like this is electric shad. Yeah. You can do, when I, when I look at this, I'm thinking wacky rig and go, but you can also Texas rig them. You can Nico rig them. There's so many different things you can do with them. Shaky head if you want. Shaky head if you want. Um, but seriously, a five inch Senko and just call it a day. Keep the category that simple. Right. All right, speaking of small categories, let's talk flukes. This is a fluke. It is its <laughs> own category. Soft plastic jerk baits, just like the, the stick baits. Um, you know, it's just, it's just the category. Baits that have created their own category. Like we talked about in yesterday's video, talking about throwing a fluke. You're not talking about throwing a soft plastic jerk bait. A fluke is a category. So yeah. the, the, the super fluke, the zoom super fluke is hands down our favorite uh, soft plastic jerk bait. It can be rigged different ways, nose hooked, Texas rig. You know, we've done in-depth videos on all of these techniques, but if you're a guy that likes to throw a soft plastic jerk bait this time of the year, as those fish move shallow, you start getting that grass kind of coming up. This guy is a must. There is a lot of baits in the category, but just like the Cinco, this is kind of the originated, one of the original baits in that category, and it's just caught a ton of fish for us, and we have a ton of confidence in it. All right, let's talk a Ned rig. Why don't, why don't I do that and you do the far one, unless you want me reaching over you. Well, fine then, let's do it. Let me talk about this instead. Yep. Still Ned rig, <laughs> but completely different. So Tim will talk traditional Ned rig baits. What I want to talk about is BFS or bait finesse. Uh, bait finesse is a growing category in the US. Uh, it's something that's gone on in Japan for a very long time. Essentially, it's fishing ultra light baits with bait casting tackle instead of spinning tackle. Uh, guys are literally taking spinning rods out of their boat, replacing them with ultra light bait casters and being able to do everything effectively. I mean, there's guys crawling through the brush, trout fishing mountain streams of bait casters mm -hmm. now. Uh, it's, it's erupting. Something that we do a ton of in the spring, it really took off for me last spring, is taking Ned style baits, baits that were designed for Ned rigging, but Texas rigging them on a 1 16th ounce weight and a small size one or size two hook. And I'm flipping these things like I'm Texas rigging or flipping uh, in and around cover. And I'm doing it with six and seven pound line and getting big fish out of heavy cover just by not horsing them. You hook them and you wait and a lot of them just come to you. It is 
very effective to get fish to bite. It's also about the most fun thing you can do in the sport of bass fishing. That's why bait finesse is erupting. It's fun. So three baits <clears throat> that really stand out. These are the two that I was using all year last year. Z-Man's TRD Bugs and TRD Craws. Those two creature baits, a, a creature and a craw, Texas rigged instead of on a, on a Ned head are just unreal. And then at ICAST this year, Z-Man went and launched their Micro Finesse series. And micro is the right word. I mean, look how tiny. This is an original TRD, which is a tiny bait that everyone thought was a joke when Ned Bait <laughs> started. They're not joking. The timing of this was perfect as bait finesse is erupting because bait finesse doesn't require bait finesse baits. You can do it with anything. They've just got to be the right size. And these are, I'm just dumping them all over this package, <laughs> making a mess of it. But these little guys are incredible. They're so small that they had to make their own Ned head to fish them. And I have not found an effective way to Texas rig these yet. I am using their little Ned heads, but again, I'm throwing this on BFS reels, on the Corrado BFS and having a blast. If you haven't branched into BFS yet, throwing little tiny stuff on bait casters, it's a riot. We've got dedicated videos to that, but it's such a growing category. You'll see us talk about it all the way through this buyer's guide series, especially when we get to rods. Yeah, BFS has just exploded, but as a whole, the industry with so many more anglers fishing, you'll, you, you, you hear it at local tackle shops, you hear it everywhere you go and you talk fishing, people are downsizing and that's just mm -hmm. fed right into that whole BFS uh, lineup. It's, it's so much fun. Uh, it's, it, it is a riot. All right, so he talked about the, the BFS stuff. Now let's talk about Ned baits. So limited it to three baits. Basically, trying to simplify it for you. Matt just showed you. The Z-Man, the original finesse TRD, right? Laztec can catch so many fish on one bait. That is a staple if you are a Ned rig fisherman, okay? We've talked about this bait for years. Two other ones. Last year, Yamamoto came out with their, let's see if I can get this open without busting my hand. <laughs> this is their Ned Cinco floater. The benefit, you guys all, are all familiar with the, the Yamamoto Cinco. Now you have the same great colors in the Ned size, right? Floater, so it stands up on the head, lots of tail action, but with the Yamamoto, you get some amazing, I mean, that's electric shad. We just talked about that in the Cinco. You get mm -hmm. some of their amazing colors. And then one other one for you. Thank you. This guy right here. This is a Savage Gear Ned Salamander. Ribbed body, lots and lots of tail movement. You can see right here where that guy just stands up. Now, this was seemed kind of gimmicky to me in the beginning. I know Matt. <laughs> Right off the bat, he's like, that's my bait, right? And you've heard him talk about it for a, a long time, but this thing catches fish. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the arms, the movement, whatever. I don't uh, know what the combination is, but they eat they that They eat it. So we couldn't do this video without including it. It's not a gimmick. That's the Ned Salamander by uh, Savage Gear. So that is our go-to baits for this category. Thanks for doing that. Why don't you throw me those little, uh, little swim baits right there? I'll take that. Yeah, that one too. So it's a given that we use Kitex, right? Everybody on the planet throws a Kitex anymore. Whether you're throwing a 2.8, a 4.8, everyone uses a Kitex. But over the last, well, I shouldn't say the last year or two, because we've been throwing this thing for like six or seven or eight years. But over the last year, it has really come back into the arsenal. I don't even know how it fell out. Uh, and then these, I mean, have just exploded for us. So here, this is the Storm Largo Shad. Originally, they made a three inch and a four inch. For the vast majority of our bass fishing, it was the three inch. Uh, this bait is such a unique profile. It perfectly imitates shad. Not just in profile, it's got that deeper belly, so it looks like a shad, um, but also in the way it kicks. It has this very tight, 
very aggressive shad-like tail kick and it shows in the way the fish react to it. We started smashing with this thing. Um, it's got this little rib that you can tear out underneath the tail and if you tear it out, it gets that much more fluid, slow, natural movement as well. But most of the time, we're fishing shad fisheries and we just leave that in. At iCast last year, they launched a 3.5, which is a, as far as I'm concerned, a perfect size because they didn't change the profile at all. They just stretched the bait out. Uh, and those two, the three and the 3.5 are amazing sizes. And then this guy, this is an X-Zone Swammer. Well, breaking <laughs> packaging. The three and a half and the four are the two sizes that I use the most. This is a four. This is an extremely soft bait and it's got, probably the best way I can describe this is Kytex have this kick, right? that big wide paddle tail kick. Back when Bastrix was the rave, and Bastrix is back by the way, that's another bait that you should take a look at if you haven't thrown it in years, because they got their action fixed, their colors fixed, they're awesome. But those, that style of bait, that Bastrix style, where the body's like doing this thing, right? The whole entire body's rocking and rolling. Night and day different from a Kytec, the Swammer is like a best of both worlds. It's a solid bodied bait. It's not a hollow belly bait. Solid, solid bodied bait, but it gets that aggressive body wobble while that tail is back there kicking and the fish react to it. And if you're only gonna have one color, electric shad. There's your color right there. They smash that thing. All right, so wrapping up the soft baits category, we're gonna talk uh, swim baits. Matt just talked about the finesse swim baits. He did a great job explaining the tail kicks. Uh, we'll we'll kind of jump into that a little bit here in this category, but trying to narrow it down to springtime swim baits. You know, switching from you know this style tail to the boot tile boot style of tail. It it matters. Um, you want want me to do this whole category? You want to break up? Oh, some of throw these? me a bait or two. Your, uh, your choice. Uh, I don't really care. So let's talk spring, shallow fishing. I'll take these guys and Sure, go. that works. All right, let's start here. If, you, <laughs> <laughs> if you're a guy that wants to get into swim bait fishing, you've, you've dabbled with some of these guys, the dark sleeper is a must. If you like to uh, creep a, a swim bait on bottom or you want to get into doing that style of swim bait fishing, the dark sleeper, it catches big ones, it catches a lot of fish, it's fairly weedless, that is a no-brainer for that category. A little boot tail, swims nice, you can creep that thing right on bottom, that thing's down there just, just looking like a dumb bluegill, crappie, Sculpin. bait, fish, goby, whatever, yep. that type of profile, they eat it. With that said, the larger swim baits, we're talking six and eight inch swim baits, um, for the most part, these fish are gonna be staging, right? They're, they're working their way to their where they're gonna spawn, the bays, uh, their spawning areas. You're, they're moving up shallow. You want a bait that has a fairly aggressive tail kick. You know, so here I have the mag draft. I have, or the mega bass, that's the mag draft, and this is the, the freestyle, okay? This comes in a six and an eight inch. And a giant. And a, and a 10 inch. Um, it's a treble hook bait, okay? It's got a nice magnet system on the bottom that holds the hook up, but this is a bait that you're gonna get up shallow, you know, 12 feet or shallower, and just chuck and wind. If you're fishing docks, you can skip it around docks, but these fish are moving up shallow, they're staging to do the spawn thing. Um, this is a bait that has caught, uh, produced a lot of fish for us as we transitioned out here to the south, right? Yep. Uh, it's a bait that may, we- May or may not have caught some fish for me this week. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just a bait that um, we've really, um, what's jived with, I guess, is lack of a better term. But that guy right there, the mag draft, okay? Now, if you're a guy that's fishing in and around a lot of cover, same situation, brush piles, lay downs, that sort of thing, you need a bait to skip up under and stay weedless, that's where the freestyle comes into play, right? You rig this on a beast hook, it is fairly weedless, and they eat it. This, <laughs> they eat it. this tail kick, again, winter time, you're using that vortex style tail, right? Something that's slow, subtle, looks real natural, 
This thing, completely different. A lot like Matt talked about in the swammer, you're getting a lot more tail kick, a lot more aggressive swimming action, and that's where these guys come into play. The other thing there is they come in a zillion colors, but there's like two or three colors that will handle 95% of the job. And, and again, in the video description, we're going to link all of these things in the order we talked about them, assuming they all fit. We're gonna fill that whole description. <laughs> yeah. Favorite bait, exact favorite colors for every bait. If there's a size thing, we'll give you the exact size. The whole purpose of this video is to narrow everything down for you. Yep. Because everyone wants to try new baits in the spring, that's the time to expand, right? You don't wanna go out in December and try and learn a new bait. It's brutal. You can catch fish, but you fish your confidence. Spring is when you're like, I've always wanted to catch them on a creature bait, I'm gonna try. I've always wanted to catch them on a swim bait. Do you wanna spend five grand on swim baits <laughs> to find out which one you like? No, of course not. These are the handful that we know we can go out here today and catch them. We know that you can catch them. They're just very effective baits. So two more for you. These two baits could not be more opposite. <laughs> right. This is the Baca Burrito. This is the five inch, there's also a six inch. This is actually a color Tim and I designed. This is called Tactical Shad. Uh, this bait is flat out a fish catcher. Uh, it will work all spring through the summer. Uh, as, the, as the fish pull back out deep, we blast them out deep with it too. This time of year, I'm shooting this thing up under docks, just like I do with a mag draft. I use them as a one-two punch. Uh, the burrito is a silicone bait, so it's fairly stiff, which gives it a very aggressive, very tight, tight action, and it almost vibrates coming through the water. The action is so tight, and the fish respond to it incredibly well. Uh, again, five inch and six inch. When I fish out deep, I throw the five inch a lot. Uh, I've had more success underneath docks with the six inch. I don't know why, that's just the profile I've had more bites on, uh, but just a great bait. And then here, we've got the Savage Gear eight inch RTF. This style of bait, that trout and kokanee imitator, that slow tail kick is just deadly. Uh, works in all the same situations. I literally skip docks with them. I fan cast shallow points with them. We crawl deep bottom with them as the water's colder. It just depends on the situation. But if you've got clear water conditions or you're fishing a lake where trout or kokanee is the primary food source for the giant bass, you want this style of tail. And you wanna either slow bump bottom, just inching along, or on warm afternoons in the spring, chucking and winding almost like it's a spinnerbait, just going down the shoreline. Again, it's an either or situation between the tail styles, but if your fish are eating trout and kokanee, it's this. If they're focused on shad, shiners, all those other bait fish, it's that. It's an either or, but both great options. So there it is guys, that is soft, springtime soft plastic baits, swim baits in a nutshell. Again, we tried to simplify it, put our confidence baits into each category to really simplify this category because it is springtime. Uh, you know, it is go time to get out there and catch possibly the biggest fish of your life. That's where these guys are gonna come into play. But springtime, bass fishing is my favorite time of the year. <laughs> Warmer weather, you're transitioning out of that cold weather, hopefully soon. And, uh, and uh, have a lot of fun out on the lake. So next up, we have, uh, in the buyer's guys, we have hard baits coming for you. Hard baits, and then we transition to rods. To rods, we got a couple good rod videos for you that we're gonna shoot. So uh, as always guys, down uh, in the video description, we'll link all these products. Uh, if they take specific hooks, we'll, we'll link those as well. But we appreciate you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button, and we will see you guys tomorrow for the next video.